Well, it's your voice, your future, and we continue to monitor results in some closely watched races from Super Tuesday, including the contest for two congressional seats. Starting off in the race for the 22nd District, incumbent David Valadeo is leading with about 34% of the votes there. Just over 9,500 votes totaled so far. Keep in mind, only 31% reporting. Uh, these are not complete results as of yet. Democrat Rudy Salas, 28%, trailing by about 1,600 votes here at this point. Republican Chris Mathis and Democrat Melissa Hurtado trailing in third and fourth. And meanwhile, in the race for the 20th district, the seat left behind by former local congressman Kevin McCarthy. Fong right now has a pretty strong lead. Right now, again, with 54% reporting, 39% goes to Vince Fong at this point, where Mike Boudreau has 25%, and not far behind is Marissa Wood making rounding out those top three. Well, Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein has been following these races very closely. Yeah, he joins us now with reaction from some of the candidates. And, Will, what are they saying tonight? Well, they're saying a ton. And, of course, we already talked about Vince Fong. We heard from him earlier. He has a strong lead. So now let's take a look at those in second and third place in this race. We're going to look at what Republican Tulare County Sheriff Republican Mike Boudreaux uh, had to say here he's pulling in second right now. Now this is the sheriff's reaction reading quote. We're encouraged by the current trajectory of results across all four counties and are optimistic that remaining ballots continue this trend and advance Sheriff Boudreaux into a runoff in November. Now Democrat Marisa Wood focusing on Fong's legal battles in a court case Fong had has already won but now is an appeal in part here. She's looking to see him off the ballot. We foresee that candidates vying for multiple races will soon face a judicial decision that of course related to his also being on the assembly district for that 32nd district. Sonoma State political science professor Dave McEwen says it may be an easier general election for Fong if he's up against Wood. A very similar circumstances, if you will. You know, if you're if you're Vince Fong, think of Vince Fong as you know Adam Schiff trying to select his opponent. He'd much rather have uh, a, a Democrat who even could raise money. You know, Steve Garvey is going to have to demonstrate he can raise money in the U.S. Senate level. Can uh, Marissa Wood raise money? And now switching gears over to that 22nd district, GOP Representative David Valadeo appears to be on the road to the top two with a spot in the November runoff. But his district is no easy task for a Republican to defend. This is a congressional district that is on the national target list for both parties. This is a district that, you know, Valadeo uh, wins uh, in 2022. Nonetheless, it's also a district that Joe Biden carried by almost 13 points. And remember, we do this all again for the on the 19th of March for California's 20th district to finish the rest of Kevin McCarthy's term. Reporting in studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.